You see that, dude? There's a vein coming through. I didn't shave my legs, but do we look jacked yet? It's coming. If I if I if I shaved, 196.0. Bart's already 202. I'm talking to him about it right now. That's no pump. No pump. It was for lunch. Chick fil A. It's on the way. We're going to LA. I gotta get this done, and we want to get to my house in like half an hour. It's mostly on sea bass because his shit matters. My shit don't matter. So the world's a little bit more normal. We got some normal stuff happening in the gym. So it's back to some travel vlogs. For the OGs, comment below if you've been around. I used to go to LA monthly, Texas every six months, New York every every eight months. Um, so we're back on the move, man. Life's rolling. We just talked about it in the podcast a little bit. So we'll be in LA. They got a barber brigade uh, powerlifting meet. I want the boys to, to experience barber brigade a little bit. So Kyle, me, and Seabass are taking a road trip down there. Um, today's Thursday. We might have a little collab in the works tomorrow. So we'll have a workout video tomorrow and then probably two or three vlogs, kind of a three part series of us moving down there. We're not moving, moving, but heading down there. Find Bart, find Nadine, find all the homies. Still at the meet, so we'll probably vlog the meet a little bit. So stay tuned. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, travel with us. We're heading to Los Angeles, California. I'll show you guys how to eat from 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven sponsor me. They're open seven days a week, 11 hours a day. So it stands for? It is. No, why is it 7-Eleven? <laughs> I don't know. AM, PM makes sense. They're open in the AM, yeah. and they're also open in the PM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's every goddamn gas station. I don't know what the 7-Eleven has got to be seven days a week, 11 hours. No, no that's wrong. A long time. But some of them are 24 hours. Are they? Yeah, for sure. Not all, but I think some. I don't think so, man. 7-Eleven. Hey Siri, what does 7 Eleven stand for? We're not doing that. You got that, you got oh, that. God damn! No, <laughs> oh, bro, this elevator is sweet. clapper. <laughs> this, bro, this thing's squeaky, dude. So we better oil up, the, oil up them cables. I got a low key. I hate shopping. I like buying shit, I hate shopping. So, like clothes, sneakers, love shopping online. Hate grocery stores. I use the Instacart a lot. But sometimes, something about like gas stations and big, nice ones that have like a ton of stuff. I didn't, I, maybe we got B-roll, but like the gas stations are on Highway 5. So Highway 5 goes from basically Mexico all the way up to Canada along the entire coast. So it runs through San Diego, LA, Sacramento, Portland, Seattle. So I've driven all up and down it multiple times. My family's up in Portland. I obviously come to LA a lot. And on that route, there's hella big gas stations. It's like trucker stuff. And they're always really nice for some reason. Like. Fresh food, hot food, all this stuff. 7-Eleven, we we're joking, but I don't know what it stands for. Like, we have stores called AM PM that means they're open 24-7. I don't know what 7-Eleven means. Seven days a week, 11 months out of the year or something. I don't really get it. But the ones in LA are way nicer than SAC. We have some cool bodegas and shit, but the ones in LA are sick. So, didn't really get a meal in. I did two grilled sandwiches. We're on the diet, man. 196 on the dot this morning. The lightest I've been in decades. And uh, I got two two grilled Sammies from Chick Fil A, a protein bar. What else I eat today? Cherry, uh, oh, the jerky, the jerky. A, a bunch of beef jerky that had zero fat in it. So we're like we're kind of jamming. Oh, a couple of the uh, sunflower seeds. Oh yeah, I'm no, not yeah, tracking. We're gonna crazy. yeah yeah five mouthfuls of sunflower <laughs> seeds. And I'm not really tracking crazy, but when I travel, food I think is because of my childhood. I was telling Kyle like dieting is already hard for me because I got a lot of I love food. But then something like, we didn't take a lot of vacays when I was a kid. We were like lower middle class, not broke by any means, but we weren't rich. So whenever we traveled, and my dad, like, my, we're Italian, so like the love language is food. And when we traveled, it was like all out, you know? Like that's what me and my dad did. We'd eat, yeah, hotels like this, we'd fucking do this. Like I love doing this with the boys. So we just went to 7-Eleven, grab stuff, but I still try to keep it cool. I'm not gonna track, I wanna have some fun, but I don't wanna get off my diet, so I'm still gonna be below calories. I found these guys, I think it's just a rice chip. I basically just went low fat. So the whole bag is seven fat, 60 carb. And the only carbs I've had are from basically neg the yeah, negligible and fucking beef jerky, couple, couple 20 grams max. 
and then the buns and the, the Chick-fil-A, maybe 50 grams. Um, and then I'm trying new protein bars. I don't know if y'all remember, but Tiger's Milk Bar was one of the first protein bars, protein bars, but it had no protein. It was like a fat bar. Had you ever had one? No. Dude, they were delicious. There was literally like a stick of peanut butter. Like it was, there's no like healthiness about it, but they, they revamped, it was all orange. It was totally different branding, but this actually has protein in it. So this has nine fat, uh, what do we got? 14 uh, protein and 30 carbs. So now it's more, you know, let's say Quest. Like every, all protein bars nowadays are kind of the same. These Crunch Bars, I'm not sponsored by any of these folks. This one's a little bit higher fat bar, lower carb. 13 fat, 12 uh, carb, and 13 protein. But these are like a wafer. These are delicious. Those fucking bang. Yeah, these are good. So I'm going to have one of these tonight and then one probably for breakfast. Breakfast. Because um, we don't know when we're training yet. And then normally I'd grab an energy drink, but the 7-Elevens were literally across the street. So I'll probably chill, do coffee in the morning, um, and see what we uh, see what we get into. Show Kyle's meal, dude. Hello. What's up, Kai? I've never had their shit. It's not bad. You know what's low-key good? What? Uh, Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Yeah. <laughs> low-key good, right? Chuck E. Cheese pizza smacks. Why does that? Why is it so good? Like, oh. it, it, we could never go to Chuck E. Cheese right now and buy pizza. It would just look so yeah. bad. Yeah. And after the YouTube scandal, you know that? They grab all the pizza off other people's tables and fill in the gaps with other people's pizzas and reserve it. Yeah. What? I swear to God, yeah. he filmed the whole thing. I don't know if it was Dobry, but it was one of these big YouTube cats did it. He did like a full mini documentary on it. It's legit, legit. Saying that Chuck E. Cheese does that. He filmed it. He showed it. He's... <laughs> so the works of Chuck E. Cheese haven't said a word about this? I know, dude. There was a big deal for a second. I wish we had YouTube on this stupid shit TV. We watch it, um, but their pizza low key so good. Places yeah. like that, bro, I love it. Like Dave and Buster's. So yeah, like for fun food. So what you get? What you get, Kai? They didn't have any other flavors, dude. They only had cheese. <laughs> you sound so sad. Oh, no, you I, want like some, I want some sausage, pet. Yeah, you get some bacon. Ooh, bacon pizza. Ooh. Ooh. All meat pizza is probably. And the best. like. We were thinking about getting sandwiches, but it just didn't look appetizing. Yeah. It was like, eh, they're like frozen, you gotta heat them up. Like, eh. Seabass got one, The pizza was hot. Yeah. It's like an American sub. I don't think it's gonna be good. What'd you get? Uh, an American sub, I think it's called. American sub. It's like mustard, pickles. Mm. Salami. That'll be pretty good. Hopefully. I think it will. Yeah, because you don't need to heat that up either. Exactly. It's a little cold, cold sandwich. Can't really go wrong with salami. You know? Yeah, you're not wrong. You know what's another favorite item of mine? Now that I'm dieting and I can't eat this shit? Hard salami. Hard salami? Where you gotta cut it type shit? I've never had that. You got hard salami? Hard salami? Like where you gotta slice it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Or like a charcuterie? Yeah. Is it char charcuterie or charcuterie? What do they call it now? Charcuterie? Or something? Shark, shark yeah, it's like TikTok shit, right? Shark cooter, like <laughs> the shark. like that of a shark. Ugh, dude, do they even have cooters? You're gross. Do non mammals not have cooters? I don't know, man. I don't think they do, right? Hey, comment in, the in the bo- comment below. Yeah, where's this, this is coming in? This becoming what is it, Planet Earth? Yeah, uh, yeah. Silent Mike goes on Planet Earth. I love those shows. Planet Earth is really good. No, those came out when no, I was like <laughs> eighteen. Like hour long, just straight up. Mike like, Sean, my little, little narration bro, was good. My little bro had a loft at their house, and it had a projector. Oh yeah. And like lounge couches, we would just go on there, dude. Dim all the lights, turn the sound way the fuck up, and just vibe the Planet Earth. <laughs> One of the best things, spectaculars I've ever seen in my life. I love Animal Planet type shit. What's Kyle doing? Kyle's going back to his roots. Dude's got a mustache and we gotta watch this. <laughs> I don't know if this is happening right now. Yeah, that's for sure SmackDown happening right now. Where's the remote? <laughs> We're Boston, Massachusetts. Dude, it's Stephanie McMahon. That's the queen. I She's very watch, triple H. I never watch wrestling. Uh, she owns the company. I have a shirt, though. She owns a company. Well, we're not watching her anymore. Seth. Bye, Miss McMahon. I hope you give oh. him a stunner. 